Today, Saabs United is in Trollhättan, eller we are in Trollhättan, the birthplace of uh, the Saab cars. And today we had the uh, great uh, opportunity to drive the electric Saab 93. And um, we've been greeted here in Trollhättan by some of the uh, people working both in uh, uh, with technology as well as in marketing. And uh, here we have, uh, who? Who are you? Hello there. I, I'm Anders Bjornberg. I have been the project manager for the electric vehicle here at NEVS. I started out at NEVS uh, one and a half year ago. I started first with purchasing, but since half a year back I have been working with the electric vehicle uh, solely. That's interesting. Um, we had a great opportunity to be out and drive the uh, electric car on the test track. Uh, uh, the car that we drove today, uh, could you tell us a little about the specifications or what did we experience? Yeah, okay. Uh, f first of all, this is uh, one of the first prototypes that we have. And the car is not built to, so to say, evaluate the performance of the electric drive. It's more to uh, help us set the specification levels for the intended production car. But what you have driven today is, uh, uh, so to say, a modified Saab 93, the conventional vehicle. We have used as much as possible from that car. Uh, what we have done, we have changed the complete floor. So we have accommodated the space for batteries underneath the car. So we can actually get 37 kilowatt hours of batteries uh, without intimidating the interior space nor the co cargo space. We even have the full-size uh, sp uh, spare wheel well left in the car here. Uh, what we have done as well then to be able to keep the ground clearance on the car, we have used the 93X uh, chassis setting. So we have raised the cars a few centimeters compared with the original one. And uh, we have uh, Instead of having the normal powertrain of combustion engine and fuel tank, etc., we have installed then the ele an electric motor and inverter, a reduction gearbox. We also have electric air conditioning compressor, also electric heating in the car. So it's a completely electric vehicle. We don't have any fuel fire heater or anything like that today. So th that is uh, basically what you have been driving today. Specification on this car is that. Uh, uh, we have a 100 kilowatt, uh, that is 140 horsepower, uh, electric motor. Uh, we have uh, acceleration approximately 0 to 100 in 10 seconds. We have a top speed limitation of 120 kph. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> did. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> uh, we have a range in the NED C in the standardized driving cycle which is approximately 200 kilometers. And in practical driving, I would say, with heat or cooling on, accelerations and so on, somewhere between 150 and 160 kilometers. That's impressive. Uh, how much heavier is this uh, sort of pre-production car than the regular 93 that we also drove out on the test track today? It's approximately 300 kilo heavier. So we have added 450 kilos of batteries in the car, but we have then taken away the fuel tank, the combustion engine, etc. So the net is approximately 300 kilo plus. Uh, on a performance car, uh, weight distribution is a key fact. Uh, uh, how does it compare or differ? Uh, we actually have a more even weight distribution on the electric version than on the conventional. We have more or less exactly 50-50 on the electrical version here now. Uh, since you went up a little in weight, uh, have you done anything on this one for the uh, chassis, suspension, uh, um, well, all those sort of things, or, or different tires? Actually, what we have done, as I already said, is uh, using the 93X chassis, and then we have also used um, springs, etc., from the heaviest variants uh, that we had on the, v uh, on the Saab 93 earlier, but we haven't done any, so to say, special designs mm. for this. We have been able to find components that we needed within the bandwidth of the previous car. Mm. Uh, for how many weeks or months has this car been running, if you can say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can say that. I mean, we, we started the project uh, in November last year, and we built the first cars in end of April, early May. And since uh, yeah, late May, 
cars have been driven more or less on a daily basis here to collect uh, experiences and uh, and mileage, so to say, on the mm -hmm. car. So, uh, how many kilometers approximately has uh, this quiet car been running around on the test track? We have uh, four similar cars here, and uh, in total, they have been uh, running somewhere now. I would think around fifteen thousand kilometers could be a little bit more as well, but somewhere. Yeah. Um, uh, this has been a great experience for us in Saabs United to be one of the first, uh, should we call it networks or blogs or whatever, to uh, come here to Trollhat and to give you guys around the world the opportunity to see those cars and uh, hear from the guys who are actually doing the work on them. And um, it seems like uh, things are moving in the right direction, is that right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think we, we are learning a lot from this and we, we are ready, so to say, to take the next step in the development of the cars uh, as soon as we have, so to say, a little bit more so solid ground to stand on. So we, we, we are moving in the right direction, definitely. That's great to hear, not only as a uh, Saabs United rider, but also uh, being born here in Trollhattan. Um, is there anything that you would like to say to the worldwide audience on, uh, on electric vehicles and Saab? Uh, I, we have heard from many of our readers and uh, commenters on, on the blog that they are really anticipating and uh, they're wanting things to come out. Uh, where are new, we, will, we want new Saabs. And, uh, 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 without any disclosing any company secrets, uh, could you say anything on that? Because uh, we know people are really wanting to hear good news. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, our, our decision to start to show these uh, prototype vehicles to the public uh, more openly is one way to make ourselves visible and to show that we actually are producing something maybe not in big numbers, but at least uh, uh, we are working with the development of new things. But when, when we are coming out with new generation vehicles, etc., I cannot comment. Uh, I have Tim with me here as well. Uh, do you have a question? No? He's standing behind the camera trying to be cool. So uh, thank you very much uh, for, for the show today. And uh, we will definitely come back when you have something even more interesting to show us. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much.